Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of a -level Maths. Here we're working on the upper sixth version of binomial expansion where we've got a a plus bx term. So rather than a 1 at the front, we've got an a term. We're going to see how we deal with that. If you've not had lots of practice from exercise 4a, then please turn back and have a look at that chapter so that you can see what's going to happen in the progression that we're going to make into this next video. So in this case, what we're going to do then is look at um, examples of the binomial expansion where we can use this 1 plus x to the power of n formula to deal with things like 4 plus x all square rooted, for example. So the first thing you'd probably want to do is turn this into 4 plus x to the power of a half. Now we are going to get rid of the 4 from the brackets. We're going to make it a 1 by effectively now pulling out a factor of 4 from the brackets. But remember that the 4 is being square rooted just as much as the whole bracket is being square rooted. So when we pull the 4 out of the bracket, we're actually pulling out 4 to the power of a half to make this a 1. Okay, so the half that's on the power of your um, bracket also needs to be attached to any factor that comes out of your bracket to make the first value inside your bracket equal to 1. Okay, so in this case here, we square root the 4 to make it a 2. And then what we're left with inside the brackets is 1 plus x over 4 to the power of a half. So in this case here, when we've pulled out the 4, we've had to quarter everything inside the brackets. That's why we've got x over 4 now outside, inside the brackets, rather than just x as it was to start with. So in this case now we're going to substitute into the binomial expansion. We know that n is a half, x is now x divided by 4. So let's now deal with the bracket part first and simplify using our calculators. And then the last thing for us to do now is just double all of these terms because we've got a 2 at the front. So doubling everything that we've got is going to give us 2 plus a quarter x minus 64 x squared plus a 512 x cubed. Okay, so that's how you pull out a factor of 4 or a factor of a in general out from a bracket is you effectively divide the bracket by that number then you factorise it out. You've also got to factorise it out with the fraction that is on top of your brackets. Um, and in terms of what value of x we are allowed, well, it's usually mod x is less than 1, but in this case it was x over 4 that we use as our x value, so quadrupling both sides, and we get x is less than or equal to 4. So modulus x is less than 4. Okay, let's have a go at another one then. We've got 1 over 2 plus 3x squared. So in this case, here, first turn it into a powered bracket rather than a 1 over. Now, the next thing we're going to do here is we've got 2 plus 3x to the minus 2. Now, remember, we're going to effectively pull the 2 as a factor out of the brackets, but the minus 2 as a power is also going to come with it. So pulling a 2 out as a factor, we have to half everything inside the brackets. So it's going to be 2 to the power of minus 2 that's come out of that bracket, and it's going to be 1 plus 3x over 2, all to the power of minus 2. So 2 to the minus 2 is a quarter, and now we can work with our bracket that we've got um, 1 plus 3x over 2 to the power of minus 2. So substituting this into the binomial expansion, and simplifying, and we get 1 minus 3x plus 27 over 4x squared minus 27 over 2x cubed. And in this case here, the only thing that's left for us to do now is quarter everything, because we had a quarter at the front of our bracket earlier on. So divide everything by 4, and we get a quarter minus 3 quarters x plus 27 over 16x squared minus 27 over 8x cubed. Now we need to work out what values x are valid for. So in this case here, it's usually mod x is less than 1. But in this case here, it's 3x over 2 that is our x value. So it's 3x over 2 is less than or equal to, sorry, less than 1 after being modulus. So times by 2, divide by 3, 
and you get modulus x is less than 2 over 3. So that's how you know what values of x are allowed into your binomial expansion. And remember, these are only approximations. They're not exact. So your turn to have a go at this question here then. Pause the video and try this one out. Alright then, so very similar to the first example we saw, so I'm feeling positive about how we've got on with this. So in the first case here, what we need to start off with is mx is equal to 4 minus x to the power of a half. Now we want to get rid of the x and we want it to now be 1 minus something inside the brackets. So we need to effectively divide by 4 throughout the whole bracket. So a 4 is going to get factorised out to the front. But remember when we factorise out the 4 from the bracket, the half as a power also gets tagged along with it. And inside the brackets we need to divide the whole thing by 4 because we factorised out 4 from the whole of the bracket. So it's x over 4. And this is all to the power of a half. 4 to the power of a half is 2, so it's 2, 1, over, 1 minus x over 4 to the power of a half. Now let's substitute it into the binomial expansion. We're going to have 1 minus x over 4 to the power of minus a half. Up to the x squared term, that's okay for me. Um, 1, and then it's going to be minus, so plus... Uh, negative half, so why is it negative half? There's no reason for that, it's just positive half. Um, and then it's going to be minus x over 4, this is the x value. And then it's going to be plus a half times minus a half. And then it's going to be minus x over 4, all squared. So let's now simplify this, it's going to be 1 minus x over 8. And then for the last term here, it's going to be a triple negative, so it's still going to be negative, and it's going to be x squared over 16. Great stuff. Okay, part B, using x equals 1 over 9. Oh, sorry, we've lost one step here. We now need to double everything because that is what our binomial expansion is. So m of x now is equal to 2 minus x over 4 minus x squared over 8. That is your final answer. Part B now asks us to substitute in x equals 1 over 9 to find an approximation for root 35. Okay, well let's see how this is going to happen then. So finding m of 1 ninth, let's start off with 4 minus a ninth. Um, 4 minus a ninth will give us 35 over 9. So that's going to be root 35 over 3. Ah, right, I see how that's going to work. So we'll probably have to work out the binomial expansion with 1 ninth substituted in, and then um, we'll have to times it by 3. So it's going to get, so type it into your calculator. 2 minus a ninth divided by 4 minus a ninth squared divided by 8. And in this case here, we're going to get a decimal answer of 1.9706790123455. So therefore, uh, root 35 is going to be this number tripled, so times by 3. And in this case, we're going to get 5.91. Does this make sense according to what we know about square roots of 35 and 36? Yes, it does. Um, square root of 36 is 6, so 5.9 makes perfect sense. So here we've got an approximation as 5.912037. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer to this question here then. Have a go at lots of the other questions from exercise 4b. The only step here that's difficult from the last video that we saw is that when you pull out the factor of 4, as we have done here, make sure you pull out the factor of 4 with the power that is on top of your bracket. Okay, and that's it. Right, uh, thanks very much for watching.